paleontologists can be pretty funny sometimes, and have been known to come up with some very creative and unusual names for their latest discoveries. Irritator, for example, a Spinosaurid that irritated the paleontologists working on it so much that they took out their frustration on its genus name, or Bambi Raptor, a small dromaeosaur named after the famous deer. However, recently one name has topped them all, with paleontologists in Brazil calling their new species of theropod Thanos. This creature's full binomial name is Thanos Simonatoi, and in the paper it has been described in, the authors say the following about the origin of this title. Genus name from the Greek Thanato, meaning death, and from Marvel's character Thanos, the Conqueror, created by Jim Starlin. Species name in honour of Sergio Simonato, the discoverer of the specimen. So, it's not just a coincidence, this dinosaur is officially named in honour of the Mad Titan himself. Alright, so what is Thanos? Well, not an alien, but a kind of theropod dinosaur known as an abelisaurid. This grouping of dinosaurs also includes the famous Carnotaurus, as well as many other species such as Rugops, Abelisaurus, and Majungasaurus. Abelisaurids occurred all across the ancient Earth, but mainly in the Southern Hemisphere, originating sometime in the Jurassic period and surviving all the way until the mass extinction at the end of the Cretaceous. Thanos has been found to most likely be a member of the abelisaurid subgroup called Brachyrostra, making it pretty closely related to Carnotaurus, and it lived about 85 million years ago, in a time during the late Cretaceous known as the Santonian. Fossils from this species were actually first recovered from a site in Brazil back in 1995, and then described in 2014, but it's only since then that more of the fossil remains were discovered, and so it's just now been named as a new genus and species. The actual specimen of this animal that has been found is just a small fragment of the whole skeleton, with only an almost complete neck vertebra fused with part of another neck bone having been discovered. However, when this specimen was examined, it revealed a lot of characteristics that were unique to the animal it came from. Therefore, the paleontologists describing it argue that it differs enough from other known theropods to be classified as a new genus and species. There is always an issue with naming new genera and species based on such incomplete specimens though, and so perhaps the authors should not have been so quick to erect an entirely new genus just based on a few bits of vertebrae. Naming new animals in this way can cause all sorts of issues, such as later on when more bones from the same species are discovered but cannot be recognised as such due to the incompleteness of the first fossils assigned to that taxon. But hopefully much more complete specimens of Thanos, including those particular vertebrae, will be discovered in the future so we can get a better understanding of what this animal was like. There are apparently features of the bones that suggest Thanos was a relatively more derived or advanced abelisaurid than other members of the group that lived at the time. The size of Thanos can also be estimated from the remains we have, and the authors of the paper have calculated a total length of between 5.5 and 6.5 metres. This individual Thanos was probably an adult or sub-adult when it died, and so the lengths estimated here are close to the maximum sizes these dinosaurs would have grown to during their lifetimes. But apparently these animals actually coexisted with an even larger predator, meaning Thanos was not actually the top predator of the time and place it existed in. Although it is currently unnamed, vertebrae from another animal, probably some kind of Maniraptoran, have been found from the same rocks, and estimates have suggested this mystery species had a substantially larger size than Thanos. Since it could potentially have made Thanos bleed, perhaps this other species should be named after Tony Stark. Anyway, Thanos has provided quite a bit of useful information on other things, such as abelisaurid pneumaticity and the ecosystem of the area in ancient Brazil it inhabited, as it demonstrates that there was likely a complex structure of carnivorous animals operating here at the same time. But, due to the considerable incompleteness of the remains we have, much more material from this species is needed before paleontologists can understand anything else about the physical appearance and behaviour of Thanos. Now, I happen to really love that a dinosaur has been given this name, if you couldn't tell, but I'm sure there will be some people who are not too happy about it, and while I can appreciate the reasons for that, personally I don't see the harm in calling a dinosaur Thanos. It's a pretty funny idea, and a cool name that has a meaning in Greek anyway. Plus, with the recent passing of Stan Lee, I feel like it's a nice way to commemorate the inspiration his universe has had. It's also far from the first time that organisms have been named after fictional characters from pop culture, since there's a trilobite named Han Solo, numerous species named after Yoda and Darth Vader, a shark genus called Gollum, a catfish species named after Batman, another theropod dinosaur named after Sauron, and yet another theropod named after Godzilla. Surely Thanos should probably have been saved for a new titanosaur though. 
It's also important to point out, as quite a few people already have, that Abelisaurids are famous for having very short, stumpy hands that were possibly vestigial, and so the good news is that we would be safe from disintegration, seeing as Thanos would probably have struggled to snap its fingers. So anyway, my question to you now is what other Marvel characters would you name new species of prehistoric organisms after? I'm thinking a new genus of ancient tree called Groot, or maybe a new species of Procyon named after Rocket would be pretty good. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.